frequency is to do with, you know, saying I feel peace, uh, being present, feeling also love inside, and not really looking out in the world anymore. It's like you don't need the world anymore, you know. It's, it's like the world is not going to give you something because you already have something and you have this frequency, right? So in a retreat, this frequency basically pretty much takes over everybody. We have some people here who are quite beginners, but still they're, they're taken over by the frequency. So this is very fantastic, you see. So, so this is not something we talk about or I talk about so often, but um, the problem is that for example, on Monday, next week on Monday, some of you will already have rushed back to your job, to your family, to your friends, to the society. And this society has a completely different frequency. It has a completely different frequency, you see. And maybe we don't notice this because we're not so ex experienced to notice this change in frequency. And, um, but anyway, so, you know, by Thursday next week, uh, some of you may not even remember you came on a retreat. Because by Thursday next week, you're back in your, how am I going to pay the telephone bill? And I don't like this person. And this isn't very nice. And that's not very nice. And your mind is to be taken over again completely destroying this new frequency and putting you back into all your familiar stuff. So you fall back into the identity that you've been living uh, maybe for many years, you know. So this is a bit tragic and it happens every time in the last 25 years, every time I gave some kind of retreat like this, it, it, it always happened. And I'm always shocked when it happens because very often somebody in the retreat who appears to be very um, touched, very touched by the energy of the retreat, maybe I have a good connection with this person, maybe I feel some potential that this person has, and then they completely disappear and I never see them again. It's very strange always. It always feels very strange. But the answer or the reason is what I'm just saying about the frequency, you see. It's like these, your friends, the society, your issues, they just grab you again. They just grab you again. You see. And you don't even notice you're being grabbed because anyway, this is now your familiar identity. I'm talking about something almost invisible, which actually I don't talk about normally. You see? So, so what to do about that? You know, what can you do about that? You see? So anyway, now I've been talking to you about it, you can be more aware about it. Yeah? And so knowing about this issue, I, I actually it's already probably 20 years old, I have a group of people, we call it Sangha group. And this group meets every three months, every three months. And it's a small group, maybe 12, 15 people who uh, can't live in the, <clears throat> they can't live in our community or don't want to live in our community, but they would like to have more contact with the community and with John David and uh, this was something I started, as I say, about 20 years ago. And it's been, running, it's been running every three months for 20 years. And it continues because this has a great value, you see, because by the, by the time, um, you know, by the time the next meeting is, your frequency is pretty much likely to be back in the, in, in the old frequency. Then you come to a kind of refresher weekend. And in this refresher weekend, the, the frequency can come back to what I can feel it is now. And then you go away for another three months. But 
maybe we have a retreat in the middle of those three months, so then it's only a month and a half. You know? Or you maybe have a spare weekend, and you come and stay in the house for the weekend, and then again you get this change in frequency. So I don't know if you know this, but you know, in every country there are electrical lines running through the country, and they have a certain frequency very strong frequency. And if you plug your, your um, plug something into that, it would explode immediately. So then they have, they have sort of special stations where the high frequency comes into, and it's made into a sort of reasonable low, lower frequency. So it's a bit like that. When you come to the open sky house, you're sticking your finger in this high frequency, you see. It's not exactly like that, but maybe you get the idea. You know? I mean, the reality is that if you're somebody who inside has a high priority and it's really important in your life that you're going to live in this, um, in, the, in the present moment, not in the past and not in the future, but now, you want to live now, you want to experience this emptiness, you want to experience peace, you want to live in a completely unusual way, you can say, then the reality is that you need to have as much close contact with your spiritual teacher as possible. So, so not many people want to do that. You know? I'm not saying everybody here should do that. I'm not saying that at all. But it depends on your inner priority. You know? So if your inner priority is strong enough, then there's no question in my mind, you need to spend a lot of time in contact with, the, with the te your teacher. And, and to come closer in the contact with the teacher means you're coming in closer contact with this frequency.